Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I want to touch a bit on weapon progression, weapon attachments and weapon skins in the Battlefield series in general because I think the game, or not the game specifically, but the series overall is a bit lacking in those areas, especially compared to other shooter games. So I wanted to give my thoughts on how we could maybe improve it for the next Battlefield games so that basically everybody wins without completely getting rid of like the Battlefield DNA and making something super crazy out of it. So first let's start with weapon levels and how to get new attachments for your gun. And there I have to say I really like the current Battlefield 2042 system where it's basically just kills. Where they basically go and say hey you want this attachment you need 100 kills. You want this extended mech you need 160 kills. I think this is a really good system because it's easy to understand. I heard a lot of people online wanted to have more of like an XP based system like it is in Call of Duty where your gun has like 30, 50, 60 levels depending on the attachments and then obviously for every level you need more XP but you don't only get XP by killing the enemy but also by like capturing flex and stuff and I'm actually against the system for the simple reason that it's not intuitive to know how much you will need to get the XP because the simple thing is if you start out the game your gun is level one you will hover over like the side you want it's like the fusion holo for example i want the fusion holo and it says you unlock the side by gun level 12. okay what does this mean yes i need to level up my gun to level 12 but how long does it take me and how much xp do i need because it usually only shows you hey i need like i don't know 500 xp to get the gun from level one to level two but i don't know if i also need 500 xp from level two to level three or if it's more or whatever and i think you have very bad game design when a player needs to leave the game to go to an external website to find out what they want to know from your game and in this case this would be the level lots of the guns the players would need to go to either to a specific website where they basically show you each level and the xp required or search up a youtube video where somebody explains how this works and in this case i have to say just saying you need x amount of kids is so much easier because then even my grandmother could log on to the game and understand that if she wants to use this side on her gun she just needs to kill 150 enemies and this side is yours instead of saying oh you need to reach level 12 and you are now level one that's for like the base progression how i want to unlock attachments i think kills is the best option for anybody now when it comes to the attachments in general and i also include the plus system here i think we could actually do a lot better in this area currently my problem is especially with the guns but also with the plus system first of all with the guns i think basically every gun kinda is the same because you run almost all the same attachments on every gun for your side of course that's personal preference but everything else magazine on like 95 percent of the guns the best magazine is also the magazine that gives you the most ammo and all the other magazines you put in you only put them in to have basically more ammo if you can't find the support instead of actually making choices because i don't think anybody goes and be like oh and take the standard issue for the most ammo then i take subsonic if i want to go stealthy and then i take high power if i fight enemies on range nobody does this you run the most ammo possible in your first mech and once you run out you just go to the magazine with the second most ammo and that's basically how you play the game as for grips there also isn't very much variety in the game currently for most guns it's basically hey this gun is good in close quarters and has some recoil so i take the laser sight that gives me improved hip fire and recoil control or hey this gun needs a bit more accuracy so i take a grip with accuracy and the same basically goes for the barrel you have a short barrel it's the number one choice everything else is useless you don't have a short barrel well usually you put on the accuracy muscle for even more accuracy or the suppressor but after the nerfs nobody really uses suppressors anymore and i think the problem here is that you just don't have a lot of choice and this might be controversial but i really would love to see dice implement the gunsmith system from call of duty i know a lot of people probably know go like oh battlefield is not call of duty why would you want this but overall the gunsmith system just gives you so much possibilities not only for your gun builds but also for your playstyle because currently in battlefield you can't optimize your gun basically for your playstyle like like i like to play aggressive but there are zero attachments that help me play more aggressive and then let me sacrifice some range like the magazine i'm gonna use is the one with the most ammo doesn't really help me when i play aggressive or when i play on range i still have the same ammo as your side really doesn't matter 
and then for your grips yeah you could argue yeah then yeah go with a laser sight but most guns are so good in hip fire already you don't really need it and then for the muzzle it's the same if i have a short barrel i just use the short barrel even if it's a long range gun and with the gunsmith system in call of duty you have so much more option oh you want to play aggressive yeah why not put on a stock that gives you more ads movement speed why not put on a grip that gives you more a better sprint to fire time faster ads speed why not put on a quick magazine why not put a grip that lets you like can't your gun you know there's so many more options and it would also mean you have a lot more attachment variety of course i don't want to go overboard here like did it back in call of duty vanguard where you could basically put on i think 10 attachments i think eight weapon attachments and then two different weapon perks was how this function and this is too much i think they should just go with the 2019 base model where you basically have i think eight attachment slots and one perk slot for your gun but you could only choose five overall attachments and i think this would be the perfect balance this would not only give the players way more freedom in how they customize their gun but it was also gives content creators way more things to like play around with you could you know currently yes you can make some troll builds by like putting on a long barrel on a gun with a very small magazine then a grip that decreases your accuracy in a very high range scope but with a proper gun system you could actually make fun with builds like a super fast smg super slow smg like a mini lmg or something this would make for super great content that would be super fun to watch and also i think like my gun guides i do they could be so much better with a gunsmith system because i could just make different builds basically hey if you're an aggressive player this is the build i would use on the gun because it gives you a lot more movement speed and enough ammunition to play aggressive but your recoil is a bit higher or hey you like to be a more of a long range fighter this build gives you really nice bullet speed we have very low recoil enough ammo but you're super slow so there would be so much more options basically for you to play and the last thing i want to touch on would be the skin system i personally like the tier one skin actually i think a cool looking skin everybody can unlock if they just put in enough time into the game something every game should have because let's face it it doesn't matter your skill level you just need 1200 kills with the guns so even if you only get like five kills a match eventually you will have the skin better players just have it a bit faster worse players have it a bit later but i think that's still super fine but i would love to see a system like in call of duty where for every gun you have a certain set of skins and there are mastery skins that if i i don't know let's say you need to do 100 headshot kills with the guns you need to get on five kills without dying like five times and stuff like this and then i can unlock gold skin then if i complete every ar i get a diamond skin and then if i complete every weapon category i get a super ultra skin i think this would be so much cooler because currently i don't see reason to tier one any guns i tier one the guns that i basically like to play then i play with the skin but are the other the guns i don't like to play i just simply don't play them because why would i i don't gain anything but if they had a skin system like this in the game this would actually force me to play with the guns i might not like that much and that would also change up my gameplay a bit i think they should just copy call of duty in this case again and just put in a super nice skin system but yeah those were basically my thoughts on those topics now i would love to hear from you guys what do you think about this first of all do you rather have weapon xp and weapon levels or do you think that just saying hey you need x amount of kills for x attachment is a good choice then what do you think about adding a gunsmith system to battlefield i personally would love to see it but i don't know how the rest of the battlefield community thinks about this and then also what is your opinion on the skins are you fine with just the tier one skin or do you sometimes wish there would be more skins for you to play so that you can play a bit more of the game because currently there really isn't much to play the game for and i think having a variety of skins where you need to play a lot of different guns for could actually help a lot but yeah let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and subscribing for future battlefield content as always thank you so much for watching until the end and i will see you in the next one